Hi guys, it's Halby. I thought I'd do a video that's a little bit off character for me. Um, almost a tutorial, but not really. I just wanted to show something that I found um, through other tutorials and other people more um, adept at this sort of thing on YouTube. But um, Google Chrome um, seems to be a really nice browser. Um, they've just opened it up for Mac users as well as Windows. So this, this tutorial, or not tutorial, but little show that I'm going to give here is something that will be applicable to either Windows users or Mac. Um, what you need to do is download the developer's um, version of Google Chrome, which I'll include a link in the sidebar there. Um, but Google Chrome is just a very fast browser. This is kind of their home page where you can zip onto whatever site you want to. But what I really found, what I really want to show are some extensions that I found very helpful. Um, and first, since I spend a lot of time on Facebook, I want you to notice that my Facebook page is a little bit neater, maybe a little bit more well-defined than yours. Each thing has little boxes around it. Um, as I scroll down, see how my blue bar up top is always there and it doesn't disappear. So at any point during that page, if I need to check my inbox or if I need to go to my settings, whatever, it's always still there. And I personally really like that. Another thing that I find really useful is I can mouse over a picture and get a larger picture of it, whatever size that picture was originally. So if this is a smaller picture, I'm going to get a smaller picture over there. Um, also, if I were to go to my page here and let's see, go to my photos, um, pick a collection, and it says show big pictures up here, I click on that. Basically, I get all my pictures in kind of a big original size format. Um, personally, I really like it. And these two extensions, the one that makes the Facebook page look more well-defined, that is called Beautify Facebook. I believe I better check that here to be sure. Um, extensions. Yeah, Beautify Facebook. And the one that makes the um, pictures bigger, the mouse over allows to see them without actually having to go to them is Facebook fixers. And the way you get to any of these is on Google Chrome, if you just click your wrench up here, go to extensions, it'll take you to the ones you have installed. If you don't have any, it'll say get more extensions or get extensions and just click on that. Here's a list of them. So and there's many pages, lots of different ones. So you'll want to read through and see what might work for you. Try some out, get rid of them if you don't like them. They're very easy to install and uninstall. Another one that I found extremely nice is, um, let's see, uh, the Craigslist one. Now let's say um, you're shopping for a car. And obviously, I don't know about you, but I pretty much shop by picture. I like to see what I'm going to go for. If they're just describing it, eh, half the time it doesn't look like they're going to tell you it looks anyway. So if I open up Cars and Trucks, it automatically starts opening up all the pictures. So I can literally just scroll and look. And admittedly, it takes a little bit longer to load up and whatnot, but you know, it makes it a much nicer experience to me to just kind of browse through the uh, pictures like that. Anyway, I know this is kind of not what I usually do, and I'm not exactly a tutorial artist, as many on YouTube are, and there are many users that really do some great tutorials, and that's how I learn most of the things that I do, including this right here. Um, but I thought you guys might be interested. It, uh, um, be sure to check the sidebar. I'll include a link to download the developer's uh, edition of Google Chrome and then try the extensions. If you don't like it, you can always go back. And I'm, another thing I'm pretty sure is that Firefox probably has a lot of these extensions as well, probably even more since it's been around longer. Um, but I don't know about you, but uh, Firefox tends to be prone to um, having some issues, although I do love it. It's still my favorite browser. 
I am starting to become more and more enamored with Google Chrome. So anyway, um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Otherwise, uh, give, it a, give it a try. Can't hurt. Talk to you later. Bye.